Hi guys, we're here with this September design team challenge. Now, this is generally a video on my channel that gets lots of thumbs down because y'all know it's not generally a art tutorial, usually maybe some tips or, and hints of things. I talk about what the challenge means to me and then talk about y'all going to show the design team some love and um, supporting their content on their channel. So if this video is not something that you like, I would prefer that you just skip to the next video rather than bother with the thumbs down. That being said, this month in September, our design team challenge um, was a fun one, I think, um, for me. It was one that I had, had a hard time learning, but I thought I would challenge the design team to um, work on somebody else's art. Right? Let me see how I phrase that exactly. Hang on. Salvage my art. So when you have art that you don't like, are you brave enough to give it to a friend or pass it along to someone else and have them see what they can do with it? I have done in the past uh, with Cindy Utter, my friend Cindy Utter in particularly. Um, the first couple times I decided I really hated some art and it really needed to go away. It wasn't serving me anymore and um, it was just bringing me bad energy and bad vibes. Um, that was a really hard realization. Um, not that I make bad art. Bad art. Um, I knew that already. Everybody makes bad art. Usually I can work through it. I can work over it. I just gesso over it and keep going. But everybody gets to the point with some art where you just can't anymore. You just can't. I don't know how many layers of paint a canvas can take, but at some point enough is enough already, right? So I have been known to either pass it along to someone else who hopefully can get something out of it, or I have these in my Etsy shop. Uh, a couple of different sizes. This is the big one. Um, what is this? A dead canvas pack. What is that? Pieces of artwork of mine that I've painted that I don't like, that I don't enjoy, that didn't serve, that didn't work for me. I tore them up into pieces and I have them for sale in the Etsy shop. I also, of course, keep some to do things with. What can you do with dead canvas, you say? I just hope you don't, I don't knock you over. Let's see if I can do this without shaking the camera too much. You can turn it into something like this. This is a piece of dead canvas in the background and I've turned it into this journal cover. That's one of the ones that I'm currently working on. And it is, um, so I guess, junk journal style? Yeah, I guess it's junk journal style. But it is a fun one to work on, and don't you just love the cover? So a dead piece of canvas can turn into something that's just gorgeous and beautiful and be this really, really fabulous um, journal cover. Maybe it can be a bookmark. Maybe it can be um, an embellishment that becomes, at some point, a larger piece of art. You know, some of these you could cut... Um, shapes out of these and you could put them in um, a bezel. I was thinking of the word. Um, you, you could find a piece of it with interesting marks and colors on it, put it in a bezel and cover it with resin and how cute of a piece of jewelry would that be? Uh, you probably could cover a um, stainless steel tumbler with it. it, glue it if you glued it down well enough and then cover it with resin. Um, so how fun would that be? Um, and it is always fun to, you know, like I said, send a piece of your art off to a friend and have them send you one of theirs and then see if you can salvage it for them and they can do the same for you. Um, maybe you just send them a piece. How fun, of, how fun would it be to just send them a piece of dead canvas? So give it a try. See what you think. Let's see what the design team uh, came up with. I can't wait to see. Um, I will put the design team's blog page in the description below. Um, every uh, week uh, as their videos go live, I do make their links active. Um, so on all of their links for all of their vid videos, uh, year to date, are there. So start at January. If you haven't seen any of the design team videos, and believe me, there's some great content out there, start at January. Go watch the videos, show them some love, and see what you think. 
All right, that's it for uh, right now. All the relevant links will be in the description below. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, click on my link tree list of links in the description below. You'll find all the places to, to support said free content. Also, the places you can just follow me on social media, uh, the, the website's main page, and all that stuff. So go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.